I don't have an exercise bike, I only have an iPad. And with that, I've done some a really interesting research project. It was funded by an ECR grant from ECU and a practically small grant, so thank you to ECU for that support and help. The reason why I, I really wanted to do this, this particular research project is that there's a real need for transformation in, in our classrooms. And particularly at the moment, there are a couple of big changes happening. And I felt it's really important that as academics and at, as researchers, that we are at the forefront of supporting this change and making sure that the change is, is being informed by our research and by some serious academic work. So some of those changes are, there's a new curriculum being introduced across Australia. That's the Australian National Curriculum. So the first time we are actually having a curriculum that applies across the whole country. And what's really exciting and interesting for me in this curriculum is that they have introduced ICT, which is Information and Communications Technology, as an embedded core general capability across all the different curriculum areas. So no longer is ICT the domain of the nerds in Corridor 16, it has now become everybody's core business. And every teacher in every school needs to have skills and knowledge on how to use ICT in a really effective way to promote teaching and learning. Along with that, we have another change happening, and that is the rise in the use of mobile technologies and mobile teaching and learning devices. And I'm sure most of you would be aware of all the, the fuss and the hullabaloo around the introduce of new uh, mobile phones, but particularly around the iPad as a teaching and learning device. There, there's been a lot, of, a lot of discussion, a lot of contention. And I wanted to see how that could actually be used in a, in a very, very effective way. There's also been a lot of talk and buzz about the use of social media. So I thought, let's see how we can, in fact, include social media in our research and see how it can inform professional learning for teachers. Oops. So who did I do this research with? It took the form of a professional learning model and I used a blended model. I did face-to-face -face sessions and I also used online teaching tools. It had five phases, took place ostensibly in the face-to-face -face mode in four schools in Western Australia across the different sectors of government and independent. I have 17 teachers involved and 400 students. And then I produced as well an online network and a blog which, resourced, which supported the project and in that blog I have to date, in fact I've got to update that because I have a couple more today, but it's 25,124 downloads of the blog and has developed this community which has been supporting the research. How I traced the research was I used qualitative and quantitative research and I've used a really exciting technique using video journals of the teachers. Teachers have also contributed iStories which we've posted on the blog and we've done a range of interviews. We've also done surveys, um, used Google data analytics, tracking the use of the social networking sites, which has really been fascinating. And um, the way that I'm analyzing the video is I'm using some really interesting digi digital video analysis tools. It helps if you can actually say the words in your study. Mm -hmm. And that's really interesting because I'm going into the classrooms when the teachers are actually using the iPads in the classroom. We're busy videoing them. We're using a special facility that ECU has set up at Ashdale and Roseworth School where we have class cameras concealed and embedded in the classroom so that we can actually observe them. The children know they're there but they're not that obtrusive. We're also using handheld cameras. And with the video, we can actually zone in and zoom in and see what is happening. How are they using this? And how is this supporting learning? And what is happening when you are using touch tablet devices? Is it different to any other way? And finally, the outcomes. I've told you about the blog with all the teachers. I'm busy writing app guides and resources. I've done some workshops for over 250 people. I've been invited to do three keynotes. 
done a couple of conference papers. I've also had some international invitations to present in South Africa, Israel, um, and it's been a really interesting study. Thank you very much.